Hey there everyone, I am Robin, choose your favourite acronym, and welcome to Let's Play Space Megaforce, presented by Toho. Oh man, voice acting on a Super Nintendo game. I'm playing Space Megaforce, also known as Super LST in some countries, which might or might not include Japan. This game, uh, it's basically going to be a filler LP while we're waiting for my new computer to arrive. It's still going to take a bit of a while. And as you can see, this game, it's a shmup. How surprising. Well, actually it should be surprising because uh, seriously, uh, I don't play shmups that much actually except for uh, Turbo, so uh, there you go. Uh, it's... It's a game I've played quite a lot in the, my child, childhood, uh, and uh, I have pretty good memories of it, in that I remember having a decent amount of fun and challenge, but I don't actually recall any of the stuff. Uh, yeah, it's a game and you get lots of weapons. Here right now I have uh, the laser, and uh, it's pretty strong. Maybe. I don't really know. And now I'm going to change to this sure. thing. It's a circle. Basically you have, there's uh, I think eight different weapons, which all have uh, a number assigned to them, which is a uh, one to eight, surprisingly enough. So right now I have number one, which is multiple shot. And let's stay with that for a while. Because actually what you're supposed to do in this game is stay with the same weapon for a long enough time, because then you can get your power level uh, stronger by collecting those uh, orange uh, thingies. Bees, I call them bees. Or pills, yeah, pills. Power pills, whatever. And, because uh, right now I'm at level 3 on my uh, multi-shot thing. I can't even recall its name, so uh, too bad. Multiple shots, yeah. And uh, it goes up to level 6 or 8, I can't really remember. And, uh, basically with more level you get more power and it's also serves as your life. Basically when you, when I get hit, I'm going to drop down uh, to level 2. Yeah, I did you know, research a little bit. And if I get hit when I am at level 2 or lower, I get dropped back to level 0. And then if you get hit again, you die. Uh, which is the bad thing. Dying is the bad thing. And if you get the, another version, well, another item of your weapon, of your weapon, it also increases your level. And the green uh, pills also increase your level by one. I think it's one. And uh, yes, stuff. By pressing the R button, you can basically get the kind of variation of your attack, which uh, can be useful or not. Also, I just discovered that I can hold the shot button and it will be much more simpler than just keeping on pressing it. So here I have variation where everything is focused basically in the front. So I got no spread at all, but I got lots of power, while there I got a bit more spread, less power. Here it's completely rotationally symmetric, but very low power, etc, etc. And got even a variation for shooting backwards. It's a bit awkward, I have to say. Awkwardness, yay. Let's just keep with that one, because it looks pretty good. And uh, let's Let's not change our weapon yet. I'm not really sure. If you look at the background, we're flying in the Nazca lines. Uh, whoop, yeah, let's get this. Oh, so when you change weapon, you actually do keep your level. So now I have weapon 6, which is the power shot. It's a thing which you can charge, and when you release it, it releases giant beams of destruction. Also, charging it is really pretty useful because it absorbs some of the enemy attacks. And it's just uh, basically a some a death zone in front of your ship, so it's pretty good. Uh, this charge shot, the uh, power shot, ah, I just got hit, so I just got dropped back to level 2, and so I guess less lasers. But I'm only back at 4, so it's it's gonna be alright. Power shot is a powerful shot, as the name implies, and uh, it has an alternate mode, which, uh, yeah, your normal things completely disappear, and it's all concentrated on the laser, so I prefer this one. Seriously. Seriously. And let's get the laser. Or our laser. So the variation on the laser is that the orange thing is homing. So it can be pretty useful at times to take out some stuff. And let's get that B. No, I missed the B. Too bad. 
Bees. Bees are good. Bees are bombs. They're indicated at the bottom left and bottom right of the screen. Sorry about that. Um, yes, bottom right of the screen. And, uh, well, you know, bombs and schmucks, you know what that does. Uh, they don't make you invincible. I don't believe they make you invincible. So you still have to be careful because they don't cancel out all of the enemy bullets. And uh, yeah, stuff. I'm playing this game on normal because I don't really recall much of it. And uh, I don't want to die stupidly. And I don't want to use safe states too much also. I'd like to avoid using them altogether if possible, but hey. I'm not sure if that is possible. But, well, maybe it is I. Right now I'm having four extra lives. You can see them at the bottom of the screen. One really unfortunate thing in this game, which is really unfortunate, is that when you die, you don't just respawn on the spot, you respawn somewhere else. No, it's boss time! The boss is going to say something. If you can understand that, you're a, cha a champion at listening to stuff. I think it said welcome at first, but I can't really be sure. And this boss, uh, apparently I just kill lots of uh, his uh, side turret turrets, and then I'm killing the core, and while the core is getting out, let's dodge the attacks. Yeah, let's dodge the attacks. Dodge, 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 dodge. Ah, I just got hit. No, I got hit. But, uh, did I win? No, now I have to kill the outer hull. Die, 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 yeah. And I win and I get another extra life if you look at the bottom right. And I'm back at level 4. That was the first stage of this game, Super Space Mega Force. And at the end of this stage, you fly off super fast into oblivion. And my plane multiplies into 15 copies. I mean, it's not a plane, it's a ship. Uh, one main problem with most shmup games, really, is that you don't control anime lobbies. And it's really one, a big flaw. It's a really big flaw. Now, stage two. As you can see, there's... What was that? Oh, probably some kind of uh, screen clear thing. There's some kind of space station which is shooting stuff at us. And... Uh, and um, yeah, those missiles explode into small itty bitty laser dots. Oh, this guy has a shield. Let's just pierce through it with our laser. That sounds good. Except when I don't have enough charge. That doesn't sound so good. The, the green item things just, yeah, as you can see, they alternate between uh, different attacks. And if you shoot them after some time, if you shoot them, it makes them stop. So let's, yeah, let's take another one. Spread! You get uh, lots of uh, s whoa, whoa, whoa. lots of uh, small uh, options. Yeah, let's call them options. And you can sort of control them. It's like Marissa A in uh, that game. That game. It's called Mountain of Faith. And if you press the R button, the alternate thing is that it uh, makes them stop moving, basically. And now we arrive at the space station. And uh, yeah, great, great, great. Let's let's. Deal destruction. The plot of this game, uh, I think it's about the enemy setting up us the bomb, and I'm not completely sure. Actually, no, it's not like Zero Wing, because Zero Wing, I think, is about robots rebelling, while this game is more about uh, aliens invading us. There's a big difference. Now I have weapon 8, which is the scatter shot. It's big balls which explode into small things, and if I press the R switch thing, then the balls curve if I move around. And now I have number 4, which is the MDS, multi-directional shot. It shoots in the opposite direction to the one I'm moving in. Uh, and why did I say opposite? No, clearly not the opposite. It shoots in the direction I'm moving in, and it's changed already. Missiles! Uh, small missile, I guess. That sucks. Let's get the circles. Yeah, circles rotating around me, protecting me from stuff. This might be pretty good. And if you press R, the, the circles just stop moving and they deal some pretty decent damage. Maybe. I have no idea, actually. Let's use a bomb! Let's use another bomb! 
I'm playing this with my uh, standard uh, emulate, well, su Super Nintendo emulator setting, which is a bit strange because uh, when I do this, I, I put the, you know, the arrow, the control pad on the WASD, which basically means it's the opposite of uh, how you should play Toro. So uh, I'm playing backwards, yay! Also, I'm abusing my weapon to destroy it, well, to get past those shields, and I'm proud of it. Let's use the lasers. The lasers also go through the shields. I nice know that lasers are piercing in every single shmup ever, and I'm max level now. Awesome. And, uh, homing laser makes clearing stuff pretty easy, I have to say. Ah, this game is relaxing at times. Talking about relaxing, the music in the Space Mega Force, that's something... Just listen to it. It's sort of relaxo jazz, and it's really strange for considering it's a schmuck, but I think it's it's pretty decent, really. It's all about relaxing. Relaxo vision. What is relaxo vision? It's some kind. Of, it's some trope. I completely forgot what it's about. If you shoot the green things for a really long time, I think something happens. Not sure what. But I think I think something happens. Yeah, this. Oh, it's this. Yeah, clears the screen. And let's get the power shot. And I think it also gives you one of those special extra lives, which allow you to respawn right on the spot instead of uh, going back through the state, which is a good thing. Wow, this this game is this stage is pretty long. I'm not going to do the whole LP in one go because. Uh, that would be too long. Seriously long. Seriously long. So, moving on, we are just randomly exploring that space station. Randomly exploring a space station. Yay. Ah, is it boss time? The screen is moving a bit slower, and it is boss time. Give me a break, will you? I think that's what he said. Why would a space station talk? I'm not completely sure about that. But uh, at least it's not the moon, so it's all like, ah, that, that was a stupid, 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 stupid job. And uh, dodging this attack is really st stupidly easy because it's aimed. And um, everyone knows the answer to aimed stuff is, say it together, streaming! Also, moving inside the thing so you get hit, so you get, try to give the boss an actual chance. Seriously. And there, level two is the... I got hit. You don't, you're not invincible even after defeating the boss. Let us remember this. Good advice. And I got some kind of 50,000 point bonus. Like, I care. Moving on. I'm probably going to do stage 3 and then we'll stop here. Yeah, that, that sounds to be decent. Oh no, stage 3 is a bonus stage, so we will do the one after that, because I don't want to stop at an easy, easy bonus stage, seriously. It's a bonus stage with enemies, but basically the point of this is that it's a pretty easy stage, which lets you get a lot of uh, points and stuff. Score! And uh, let's change our weapon. We haven't used the missiles that much, seriously. Uh, dice floating in the air, or is it just, no, it's not dice, just random cubes. We ran lots of random stuff to destroy, and uh, well, this guy, this guy is serious, and he goes at bar, running away like a coward. Oh yes, he's a coward, like a metal slime, basically. Um, a little bit of drag, like I care. This game is. Let's get this friendly. Right. Let's not get hit also. Goes away again. Seriously, let's get the scatter shot. That's it's a good thing for brutal people like me, because I'm a brute, you have to know that. Now he decided to stop running away. Good, good, good man. Ooh, he's dead. And let's get a multiple shot. Multiple. Yeah, bonus stage, not sure what the point of that was. And let's multiply our ship again. Yeah! Too bad you can't do this during the stages. That would be overpowered. Area 4. Whoa, what's happening? Whoa, that background. That background. If this happens in outer space, it probably means you're in a green hole, not a black hole, because obviously it's green. 
Yeah, um, I want to keep with my number one for a change. So, yeah, basically in this place, not too well. This place, gravity looks completely messed up. Seriously, if the background is uh, as this happens to it, I'm not really surprised that actual moons get their you know size changed so easily too. Enemies coming from behind. No problem when I have this laser thing and I have it again. Also the laser. Oh, you can destroy the moves. Wow, that makes sense. It really looks in indestructible though, but... Um, okay, let's say it's, it is destructible. Wow, Peter isn't really happy with this section, but now it came back to life. To life. Maybe this game is a bit too easy. Let's try on. Power shot. Yeah. Let's charge up our laser. That was some reference to some me. Hooray! Question mark. Destruction upon all. Seriously, poor aliens. What well, this? No, this is. I was trying to imagine a situation where this would be hard, but it probably doesn't exist. Destroying moves is my pastime. Destroying moves, whoop, whoop, careful there. These ships leave obstacles behind them, but in their trail, it's a bit strange. Whoop. There's missile batteries too, wow. But whatever, let's just rain destruction and despair upon those aliens. Seriously. One thing with all those schmucks, seriously, one lone guy in one ship destroys entire space stations, fleets of alien ships, and uh, this guy he might be a hero for the humans, but seriously, he's not the hero in terms of kill count. Wow. Power shot. I like the power shot. Oh, you haven't used that one much yet. Multi-directional shot. It aims in the direction you're moving at, and if you press uh, R, R, I can't say that word. God, so, and I can't write the letter too. If you press R, it uh, it stops moving, so uh, makes it for more concentrated stuff. It's probably. I hope it's. It doesn't look really strong at all, and especially considering it's easily aimable, it probably isn't. So it's probably a terrible shot type. This is my conclusion, analysis, and it still doesn't prevent me from destroying absolutely everything in the stage without, without basically lifting a finger, because you have to keep the finger on the keyboard if you want to shoot. Ha 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 That was actually not such a terrible joke. Seriously, seriously, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, I, I believe it. Multiple shot, let's get that. Let's get this version. Almost got hit here. Almost got hit. Multiple. Listen to that music. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stupid fire torch bar thing. You ruined my full combo of this stage. So I'm going to get the laser. There's lasers. Ah, ah, oh! Uh, now I'm I'm seriously weak now, and I died! Yay! First death! First death! And um, let's use a bomb too. When you die, you don't lose all the bombs. That's good news. And I died again. Oh wow! Suddenly, suddenly, when you don't have max power, this game isn't so forgiving anymore. Now I'm back at three, so I should be all right. Wow, that was embarrassing. And I'm already back at 6. That was some really fast getting back at level 6. And I got another extra life, probably. Fun fact, pressing select mo changes your movement speed. It's pretty uncomfortable, to say the least. I couldn't hear, didn't hear what he said, too bad. Ah! <laughs> This boss, this boss, uh, does stuff. Ah! Ah! I'm not really sure about what the proper 
strategy is... But, I'm still hitting him. And, I won. That was disappointing. The guy looked a bit scary and dodging didn't seem that easy, but... Oh well. Oh well. Next time, stage 5. See you then.